welcome back to my channel. I'm Peaches from Lovers with Healthy Life. Well, I want to do a little harvesting, so come along with me and let's have some fun. Now guys, I don't have any beehives here on the property, but I was told that my distant neighbor has like five beehives. So I'm pretty sure we're benefiting from his beehives. These are the largest bumblebees that I've ever seen, and some of them are really weird looking. So my flocks is really putting on a show here. And look at all the bumblebees in the flocks. This is such a pretty color. I'm really enjoying it this time of the year. The bumblebees don't seem to mind me at all. They're just in there having a good time. So if you want to attract bumblebees to your garden, you might want to plant some of this phlox. And it is really doubling in size year after year, and it's a perennial. And then the zinnias are now six feet tall, some of them. And they're looking really lovely. Such a pretty zinnia. See if I can get close. I don't want to disturb these bees. They're so pretty. Well, guys, got a little rain in, and this is how my garden is looking at the moment. Tomatoes and those bush beans that are supposed to be bush beans are actually towers, and all of these are beans in here that need to be picked. I mean, look at this. It is so many beans that I need to pick, and they're starting to get a little larger than I like but I'm gonna go ahead and harvest these. And I told my husband, I'm gonna have to get some help with all the harvesting of all of these beans. And over here, I have several squash plants that are coming along. And then right here is a squash plant I showed you in my prior video. And it has squash that are growing on it. And they're looking pretty good. And look at my peppers they are doing really really well all the peppers some really large peppers I'm gonna go ahead and pick the large peppers because if I don't pick them they get little burnt marks on them sometimes and these are supposed to be turning orange it looks like they want to turn but they haven't turned yet well, my ground cherry is really bushing out over here in my row garden. And I have another one right there. And then the watermelons are starting to really leaf out. So we should be getting watermelon soon. And these are a few more of my pepper plants that I planted late. So they're coming along. And I have more pepper plants in this row starting to get I think most of these are my pepperoncini peppers and hot peppers like cayenne peppers here and look at all the moneymaker tomatoes and this video really can't do it justice because there's so many of them and I'm gonna go ahead and harvest a bunch of these and some other tomatoes well, in a couple of videos back, my husband harvested the lettuce, cut it all down, and now look at it. It's all grown back. So we're gonna harvest some more of this today, and I'm just gonna cut it down. I'm not gonna pull it up or anything. Maybe we'll get a third harvest. So I'm just gonna cut some of it back. Harvest it that way. I'm gonna cut, um, I'm not gonna harvest all of it because lettuce doesn't stay a long time in the refrigerator, so so we just like to harvest a little bit at a time. 
Look at that. It looks so beautiful. And when you cut the lettuce, you kind of want to go down to where you see the stem of the lettuce. Like I was telling my husband the other day, it doesn't make sense for us to ever have to buy lettuce because if you plant it every, and sow the seed every uh, two weeks or so, you'll always have a continual harvest of lettuce. And even in the winter time, you can grow it in containers. As I showed you in my one of my other videos, you can grow it right inside your house. You just gotta continue to sow the seed. Um, in containers, maybe um, a, get four, four different type of containers that you want to alternate and planting seeds. And even with this, this is the cut and come again lettuce, so you really don't have to even seed it that often. You just cut it back. And let me go ahead and take the screen off of this right here. I wanted to show you my Swiss chard. It is getting really big since the last video. And I'm really loving the little tiny fairy tale eggplants. They really have a nice taste. And this lettuce bed is a cut and come again lettuce and it has grown again and I just love <laughs> cutting the lettuce back and you come back in another week or so and it's all filled back out again. And looks like we have cucumbers here. I'm gonna harvest this cucumber today. Yeah, this is a nice sized cucumber. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest that. And this is actually my second cucumber of the season. And uh, this cucumber, I don't think it's a Boston pickling. I believe this is a muncher cucumber, but they're really delicious. And I have some volunteer lemon basil that I've been harvesting uh, this summer, and it's really delicious. And you can really smell the lemony smell in this basil. Again, this is a lemon basil and it's a volunteer plant because normally basil dies back in the winter, but I must have had some seeds down in here. So it came back and it smells so wonderful. And these cucumbers right here are different looking cucumbers. I'm gonna have to look up the name of these cucumbers. They're pretty long. Let's see. So here's another one, and uh, maybe these are the cucumber munchers, I'm not for sure, but those are pretty big. They're skinny and long cucumbers. So this cucumber's doing pretty good. Okay guys, so look what we have here. I have a zucchini growing here. Even baby okra, um, burgundy okra, starting to come on uh, the vine. This is the gray variety right here. And that's a nice size zucchini. I almost waited a little bit too uh, late to harvest it, but it's a nice size. Maybe I'll make some zucchini pie. So let's come over here. And look how large my ground cherry. It's about, oh, I would say, three, two and a half feet tall, maybe three feet. Lots of ground cherries growing on it. ground cherries. So over here I have another zucchini growing and I'm not sure the name of this zucchini. I think it's a white. I'm not sure but this was a mixed zucchini package uh, that I got from Renee's garden so maybe I'll look it up. I think this may be ready. I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this. It's long and uh, thin so I'm gonna go ahead and harvest this. I'm gonna just twist this one off though. So yeah, this is a pretty, it's a skinny zucchini, but it's nice and long. So I'm gonna go ahead and put that in my basket. And my Roma tomatoes are starting to put on a little show here in my garden. This is my raised bed garden, and so they're doing really well. It's starting to look like a forest back here. I want to show you the sunflowers. So pretty. And look at all the sunflower blooms on this massive sunflower. Wow, I'm not sure. This one is at least 20 feet tall, I would say, or almost 20 feet tall. So huge. 
and they're starting to put on the little sunflowers all over. I believe this is the one I got from a, as a gift. Well guys, I am harvesting some of my large tomatoes here, the really big ones that I've been harvesting, and I'm harvesting them green and letting them ripen in the window. Right here you see about, I don't know, maybe 20 or 30 tomatoes, um, with the exception of a few small ones. Look at what's been eating my tomatoes. I have no idea, and that is a lot of eating. And that was a huge tomato, and this is a huge tomato as well. It's so big, and I'm getting a lot of damage, so I'm cleaning this up. I'm gonna rethink the fact that we may indeed need a fence over here in my row garden. Um, I don't know, I just, at first I wasn't gonna put up a fence, but then, I don't know, we, you never know. We didn't have a problem last year because this area was new. The animal was like, you know, it was new and they didn't bother my vegetables. But this year, they're like, okay, we're, it's okay to go on the black tarp. It's not poisonous. <laughs> so I'm gonna have to do something. Um, I wish I could get to the bottom of it, but you just never know. Maybe I can install a camera of some sort and see what's going on at night. That'd be kind of cool to install a nighttime camera. Okay guys, so we're picking beans and my granddaughter's here helping me pick beans. Say hello. Hi. So she's gonna be helping me pick the beans today and my daughter decided to come and join the fun and help pick uh, green beans. I'm not sure if she's picking them for herself though. I have a green bean allergy. No I'm you do not bean. have a green bean allergy. Mm -hmm. You told a lie to all my subscribers. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys, so we have a little harvest here. We have tomatoes. We have some of my larger uh, tomatoes uh, that I harvested. And I have peppers, green peppers. A couple of my peppers are turning red here, so I'm glad to see that. And then have some cayenne pepper, a large basket of beans here. My granddaughter picked these beans over here and she's still picking beans. And so she picked these green beans. It kind of had a contest going here. And then my other daughter over there, she's helping me pick green beans. And we're honestly, we're not done picking green beans for today. And this is actually, uh, that's probably about I don't know, maybe 15 pounds just right here of green beans in this large basket. So we have a basket here, a basket there. I won. Basket there. <laughs> <laughs> You're not done yet. <laughs> I am, and I picked kale too. No, we still have a long way to go, babes. Okay. It's getting dark, so I guess we're going to call it a day today. I think we did pretty good picking the green beans and harvesting a few tomatoes and peppers.